Hi everybody, I'm Heather, Behavior Instruction Support Consultant at the Day School at the Children's Institute. And today I'm outside in my backyard enjoying this beautiful weather and I'm gonna be playing with some bubbles and I want you to come play too. So I have two different kinds of bubbles here. I have a big giant container and a bubble wand. And I also have a bubble machine. You can pick whichever kind of way you want to blow your bubbles. If you don't have bubbles at home, there are lots of really great uh, do-it-yourself bubble recipes that you can find online. Okay, so the bubble activity we're going to do today, you're going to practice following lots of simple directions, doing some really great motor movements, as well as practicing imitating the actions of other people. All really great skills to work on. So if you're going to use your, your uh, bubble container and your bubble wand, some of the directions you can practice are take off, and you can practice taking off the lid. When you're finished, you can follow the direction put on and put the lid back on. You can also follow the direction put in to put your bubble wand into the container, take out, and then blow. You get lots of bubbles. If you're using a bubble machine, you can follow the directions, turn on, and then when you're finished, turn off. I'm gonna use my bubble machine today, and we're gonna practice five different ways that you can pop the bubbles. Each way we do, we're gonna to try to pop at least five bubbles, okay? The first way is we're gonna bring our hands together and do a big clap together on the bubbles. We're gonna to try to pop at least five bubbles. Okay, are you ready? Practice clapping, get those hands ready. One, two, three, four, five. My bubbles are floating away over that way. The second way is we're gonna pop them with our pointer finger. Do this with your finger, get it ready, and you're gonna pop. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Did you get five? All right, the third way is we're gonna keep that pointer finger, but we're gonna reach across our body and try to pop the bubbles on the other side of our body. It's gonna be a little trickier, but you can do it. Get five of those bubbles, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I missed five. Okay, the fourth way, keep your pointer finger again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reach up really high. You might need to squat down so those bubbles stay above you, and you're gonna pop them as they go up above your head. I'm also gonna lift my bubble machine up. Okay, ready? Get five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And the fifth way is your choice. You can pick how you wanna pop those bubbles. You can use your head, you can use just your whole hand, you can use your foot or your knee. I am gonna use my elbow. I'm gonna pop five bubbles with my elbow. I'm gonna get my chicken wing out. I'm gonna pop five of them. Ready? You pick which way you want to do it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, everybody, have fun playing with your bubbles. Bye.